Hey, what's up everyone? I made this video to show you how you can fix MPEG4 file header on your computer by making use of a repair software. I found this software on the internet and this software could fix the MPEG4 header on my MPEG4 file in just a matter of 4 mouse clicks. So if you are looking to repair or fix MPEG4 file headers on your Windows OS, then make sure you download this software by just visiting this link. The download process is quite simple, so all you have to do is just visit this link and scroll down and click on this download now button that you see here. Anyway guys, I have this full version installed on my computer, so what I'm going to do is I'll run this software once again on my computer and I'll show you how you can fix your MPEG4 file header by making use of this tool. So keep watching as I run this MPEG4 video repair software on my MPEG4 file and show you how you can repair your file header using this software. So this is how the main screen of this software looks like when you launch it on your computer. So all you'll see on the main screen are just two buttons. They are healthy file and corrupted file. The healthy file is used to select a healthy file which is nothing but a MPEG4 file that is free from all errors. And this software actually makes use of a healthy file to repair the corrupted file. So basically the healthy file should be more than 3 or 4 minutes in size and you need to make sure that it's of the MPEG4 file format and should be free from all errors so that the software can successfully repair the corrupted file by making use of the healthy file as a reference. I'll now click on the healthy file button and I'll browse and select the healthy file that I have on my computer. And the second button that you see here is the corrupted file button which is nothing but the corrupted MPEG4 file that you are looking to repair on your computer. So by clicking on the corrupted file you can browse and select the corrupted MPEG4 file which actually needs to be repaired. So I will now select the corrupted MPEG4 file that I have on my computer. I will click on the corrupted file button and I will browse my computer and select the corrupted file. So once I have selected the two files, I will click on the repair button that I see down here. The moment I click on the repair button, the repair process is initiated and the software begins to fix the header on my MPEG4 video. And once the video has been repaired, I will be given a description of the repair process which you can see here. And here I find a preview button which lets me play the repaired video just to make sure that it has been repaired successfully before I even save it to a folder on my computer. So I'll click on the preview button and check if the video plays successfully. And here you can see that the video has been repaired successfully so it's playing fine without any errors and what I'm going to do is I'll click on the save button and I'll save this video to a folder on my computer. I'll once again save this back to the same folder from where I selected the two files from and click on save and here you can see that software saves the video to that folder and takes me directly to that particular folder once the saving is completed. So here's the video which was repaired by this software. So that's it with the repair process guys, so if you are looking to repair MPEG4 file header on your computer then it's better to make use of a repair software because it's completely safe and it's actually recommended to not repair the MPEG4 file header manually but it's always recommended to depend on a repair software which will make sure that the file header is fixed in just a few minutes. Also, this software is quite recommended to repair MPEG4 file headers on your computer. So there's nothing to worry about file corruption or losing any video quality by making use of this software. So make sure that you download this software if you are looking to repair MPEG4 file header on your computer. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you did like this video, then make sure to hit the like button. Thanks again.